Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look at Grok4 and uh, how it's doing in creating a solar panel website. I've tested this before with Cloud, with Gemini, with uh, Chimera from uh, the DeepSeek provided by TNT. I will let the links into the description for that. And if you don't know, Grok4 was just released and uh, this is a awaited model because Elon Musk says that this is the best AI model that you can use. Right now only Grok4 was released and you see in here this is their uh, language model release. So you have a context of about 266k, you have a rate limit that it's about 16k tokens per minute and uh, 60 requests per minute and the price is $3 per input, $50 per output. But uh, this price doubles after you are uh, moving to the context that is bigger than 188k. So yeah, Grok has just been released and based on the hype that it's out there, I wanted to test it to see how good it's uh, listening to my prompt, how it's using the prompt and how it's working. So you see in here that this uh, it's capable to read images, it should be able to use function calling, structure output and it has reasoning. So yeah, this is uh, Grok4 and it has just been released. You see in here the details about it and you have some things and Grok4 it's available also on open router and I will gonna use open router for this test and in here you see that it should support tool calling in parallel and in here you see that the context, the price and you see in here that uh, the price is from 3 to 6. So basically as I told you the price is increasing when you're using the larger context. So if you use uh, after 188 case you will be charged differently. I wanted to see how this is doing. They will gonna release also a Grok code model in the future but Again, with Grok, there are mostly promises and uh, hype and that's it. At least this is what happened lately from my point of view. So yeah, I will gonna use Z to test this because it has an open router integration. Also with Cloud, I managed to, de to do this with only one prompt. So if you don't know, this is the website that Cloud with Z managed to do months ago with only one prompt and you see that it's modern, it has a lot of nice feature and uh, you have a nice menu in here, you have services, you have contact and you have a nice footer. And in here I have configured Astro because we are going to use Astro for this. So the one that doesn't know Astro, it's a web framework that uh, can help you build the static or dynamic websites easily. It's very powerful and very fast. And uh, I have an open router account configured already in Z. And in here, I have just submitted the prompt. So uh, yeah, you don't need to wait. So basically this is the prompt. So I told him to create the Astro website with basic thing. It has Tailwind 4 already installed and you don't need to install it. I need a menu, footer, hero section, services, testimonial, project, call to action about services, contact page, read me, uh, read me about the project and I would like him to create also the SVG assets to see how it's doing in the creation part and if he's able to listen to me. So I've uh, create, I've submitted him this prompt. So I'm using this one minimal because with write it doesn't look to work. So basically with write uh, Z it will create everything for you. You don't need to go and copy paste everything. but you have an error when you are using this with write. I don't know if this is coming from Z site or it's coming from Grok site. So this is quite new, but I wanted to see how it's working and uh, I've uh, used the, the minimum for this as I did yesterday with the Chimera from uh, DeepSeek. And in here it started creating uh, the plan for us. So. The structure is quite good. So you see in here you have the main layout, you have a menu footer hero, you have components for everything, you have the pages. So it listened to my prompt and uh, it lay out the details for us and then it moved in creating the file. So I've already created all of these files manually. And in here you see that you have the main layout and again in here it didn't took it 
the consideration of Tailwind 4. I guess it doesn't have enough data about Tailwind 4. I am also interested to see what data this LLM has without the need to uh, every time tell it to use the documentation and things like that. And uh, for instance, Cloud4, it's quite good of doing uh, these things. And uh, you see in here that it created a main layout for us. So this is correct. The only missing thing is the import for Tailwind 4 in here. It created a menu component for us. So these are quite basic things. It's like, uh, you will see, not that good. It created a footer. So it created a hero for us, services section. So as you can see in the code, it's like did the bare minimum things. It didn't do a lot. It just uh, spitted out some things and created the call to action. Then it moved to pages. So this is the index page, index page. So at least it's using the component in the right way. Main layout uh, for the about page, services page. So it's using the main layout. So it has like a good understanding of Astro, the problem is with the creation from my point of view. It doesn't struggle a lot to provide the best layout for us. Okay, and then he started creating the SVG asset. He told me to put them in SRC asset, but this is not the correct path. It should be in public. I have moved them so we can see how they are looking. And yeah, it created all of this detail for us. And in here, it told us to create the tail and config, even I've even I've told him that we are using Tailwind 4. Again, I don't think this model has enough data on Tailwind 4. It's not trained good enough. So this means that it doesn't have like a very big pool of data or maybe the data is not up to date because Tailwind 4, it is just has, it has just been released a couple of months ago. It has been in beta for, I don't know, 10 months. And then it created the readme file. Again, it, this is the bare minimum that he, he created for us. So for instance, you see that in here, if you are going to minimal, it's working. But if you are trying to do it right, for instance, who are you? I'm just interested to see if it's working. It didn't, you have this error message. Again, I don't know this is, if this is from Z or it's from something else. But yeah, I mean, it used like about, the 6k of tokens which is not a lot but again this is not uh, a lot of data that he created so in here i will just uh, start it npm run dev and right now this will run on the 4322 port and let's see what he did and again this is the astro website and this is what he managed to do so this is the website that he has created this is the SVG logo, which is awful. <laughs> At least the menu it's sticky and it's working. This is the hero section. It's like, uh, I don't know, 2000 year. <laughs> I mean, this has been, uh, you, the, the design is looking like this. So yeah, this is the homepage. It's crappy. About page. Again, it's <laughs> like this services. It's not okay. Contact, again, it's not okay. And uh, yeah, it uh, it didn't do a good job. Remember that uh, I've uh, run uh, yesterday with minimal the other things and it did a better job. So this is what Grok managed to, to do. I'm not impressed on Grok 4. I don't really understand the hype of Grok 4. It's like a dumb model from my point of view it doesn't uh, do well with uh, these things it should have done a better job from my point of view if you think that uh, this was uh, promoted by Elon Musk as being the smartest model out there AGI and things like that and he couldn't even create a decent website for us so yeah I mean Grok4 it's not out there yet so it's uh, it still has a lot of uh, way to go. I will test this after. It can use also the right to see how it's doing there, if it does a better job. But right now, this doesn't look well at all. So yeah, this is uh, Grok4 and this is how he did with, with the prompt that I've, uh, I've used for other models that did a lot better. So 
I will let you comment in the description what you think. Thanks for watching and in case you like what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.